signs. Well, we'll see clear conditions tonight. So if you're out and have plans tonight going into your weekend, it looks good going into tonight and to the rest of your Saturday and Sunday. Plenty of sunshine in the forecast, warming up into those low 90s. I know some of us may not be ready to hear that, but it's on the way to Contra Valley. But turning a little cooler again next week, not too cooler, but into the 80s and 70s. Today, we got a high of 74 degrees. This morning, we're at 37 degrees, well below average for this time of year. We're usually in the 50s around this time of year, in the 80s around average for this time of year. Not reaching the 90s yet, like 1946, but they're on the way to the Contra Valley with current conditions. Beautiful weather downtown, seeing temperatures in the 73 green mark, winds out of the north at 9 miles per hour. We're seeing a little more gusty winds earlier, which led to this, the fire weather warning for effect for some of our counties. That's Coke, Runnels, and also McCullough and Concho County. Everywhere else is not in there, but definitely seeing some elevated fire risk with these conditions. Atmospheric moisture being dry in the teens and single digits. This all helps keep those fires easy to be sparked. It only takes one spark to get a fire out of control. Remember that going into tonight. We'll see beautiful conditions. If you want to take your dog out or go ride your bike, well, conditions will look as follows. 70s dropping down into the 60s and 50s. Overall, some nice weather and temperatures dropping slowly. Again, eventually getting into the 40s as we go into the next couple hours as well. So again, that's good news for tonight if you're heading out. Now, all the moisture across the United States is well off into the Great Lakes region. You can see the counterclockwise swell. This is a pretty strong low pressure system is wrapping in that cold front is bringing in that line of showers across the east coast and seeing some tornado warnings and watches and severe thunderstorms warnings and watches for that area and a bulge of moisture over the posters portions of the midwest here in texas things are just quiet again notice red flag warning extends from the panhandle all the way as far south as houston because of those dry conditions again and those weather and humidity values being very low across our state now right now here some of us are starting to get a little down in temperatures down into the 60s, upper 60s as fact, and then into the 70s like we are right now. Overall, going into the next couple of days, not a lot of changes. We will see clear conditions. Hold on to that tonight. Going to Saturday as well. Maybe into Saturday, into Sunday, seeing a little more partly cloudy weather for us. And then we pan to Monday and Tuesday, where some of us severe weather rise can be well off to the east. But don't be surprised if some of our eastern counties skim some showers and then another chance Tuesday into Wednesday, another cold front comes through that could possibly bring us some showers. But you don't have to worry about that going into Saturday and Sunday. If you're going in Friday, it's going to see conditions pretty much all good especially if you're going to wash your car you can add that wax to make a little shining touch for your car going to this and that could be one of your activities and also take your kids to the park clearing conditions tonight again if you're at the fairgrounds you're going to enjoy tonight the guests are going to take a little cooler you might be a little cooler by the time you're leaving you may want to bring a little light jacket but tomorrow it's going to start out in the 40s and then eventually get into the 60s with plenty of beautiful weather going into the next five days and it looks something like this for us nice sunshine in the forecast temperatures getting into the 90s and maybe you'll hold on to a chance for some showers next week we'll keep watch over throughout the weekend we'll be back right after this